Joining me now is filmmaker and political activist Robert Greenwald. Robert is also uh, the director of Brave New Films. Mr. Greenwald, good to have you on tonight. Where's the country on this, in your opinion? You've been around the country. You've done a lot of public speaking. You've interviewed a lot of people. Where's the country on this? Well, the country has moved pretty radically and significantly, Ed, in the last few months. When we started our work on Rethink in Afghanistan in January, the country pretty much was with the president. Maybe it was the right war, but they weren't really focused on it. Now, my experience, as we have hundreds of screenings of Rethink Afghanistan. 600, I might add. 600, thank you. Yeah. Got the right number. Well, <laughs> and, <laughs> you weren't expecting that many. I mean, I don't interrupt you. You weren't expecting that many. I mean, they're the interest is peaking on this and you think the country is not with a troop increase. No, they're definitely not with the troop increase. The polls are showing that. Uh, the incidents of people emailing and writing and calling. But also, Ed, it's solid common sense. I mean, the country's so ahead of the elected officials. What is sending more troops going to do to solve a problem yeah. that is not a military problem? Okay, people don't to, have jobs. Yeah, the, today the president, you're right on that, the, today the president met with uh, leaders from both sides of the aisle, and they came out and said there's four concerns here. Security, government, reconstruction and diplomacy. Well, violence is up 60% from last year as far as security goes. Governance, we don't know where Karzai in the election is. Reconstruction, is that another term for nation building? And diplomacy. Now, where do we stand based on your experience as a journalist covering all this? Well, where we stand is pretty sad right now and almost tragic. We're trying to solve it with more and more troops. We're not sending over teachers. We're not sending over doctors. And, Ed, when you go to Afghanistan, the third poorest country in the world, they don't have jobs. People are not eating. And the thought that we're occupying that country makes no sense. It's also not helping our security, and that's the justification. The CIA and ex-CIA and others have made it very clear that the yeah. occupying that country is going to hurt our security. Okay, and you draw a comparison. I said in the lead here, there goes your money for health care reform. You do that in Rethink Afghanistan. Here it is. In Alabama, that state will pay through fiscal year 2009 $1,695,000,000 for the U.S. war in Afghanistan. All of these people in Alabama, plus 200,000 more, could have full health care coverage for one year for what Alabama will pay for the U.S. war in Afghanistan. That is very profound. Is, that's what, is that what's connecting with Americans right now, you think, Robert? It's definitely starting to. They're realizing more and more how expensive this will be. Hundreds of billions of dollars that aren't providing jobs, aren't providing homes, and aren't helping keep us safer. And again, it's an important point. People will pay for security. This is not a policy that's going to make us more secure. Every time we kill an innocent person, every time we occupy a village, it's actually recruiting terrorists. And as the Carnegie Report said, the yeah. single biggest reason for for the resurgence of the Taliban, foreign troops. Think about that. Mr. Greenwald, great to have you with us tonight. Thanks so much. My pleasure. Appreciate your time.